And, uh, you know, but either way, he's going to be in a completely separate group from these. So that scenario won't happen. Yeah, it's, it definitely sounds like he will, without a doubt, be separated from me. But here we go. This is the grand finals here at DreamHack Atlanta. Last event on the Tekka World Tour for 2019 before we go off to the finals. And our LCQ going to go to Twilight Conflict number two. And it's going to be a straight run back of the characters Jack versus Paul. Yes, sir. We. And yeah, currently Anakin already in third place, so it's not going to shake things up at all. He's, he's definitely getting put into one of the groups away from me and Lohai. Um, okay. Yeah, and I think even if Kakoma manages to defeat uh, Anakin in this, he doesn't get enough points no to way. actually take Anakin's spot. I think he has 251 with that win on Friday, so he would get 230 from winning DreamHack, so that's not enough. No. Not even close. But here we go. And right. look Damn, great. so many pokes so fast. Yeah, but Anakin's in a hurry. He's like, yo, man, it's ATL. It's my hometown. I want to win for the people here. I'm surprised that on that low parry, Kakoma didn't spend Rage Art right away yeah. to get max damage on that. But I mean, maybe Paul is still not his main character. You know, it's, it's, I think it's still Kazumi. Paul is just the secondary. He's been running a lot of And he's just doing a lot better in Season 3 because Season 3 Paul is something else. I talked to him yesterday when he made top eight. He just came up to me. He looked at, looked me in the eye. He's like, "Paul's so strong." Yeah. I don't think any of us really expected Kakoma to be a Paul main, right? But if you go back to Dubai, he beat me with Paul. Yeah. He, did he get him? I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. He cancels he's dead. it. If he hits the wall, he's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. Didn't he's even need the grounded hit. <laughs> Man, Paul is so dumb, fun to watch. Little punish there, snap. It's so interesting to see Kakoma like sprinkle in these little panic moves every so often, like the sway one plus two, the, the forward one plus four. Oh, oh. you know what's acting kind of crazy? It, isn't one of Paul considered the anti Akuma character before? Yes, yes, he was one of the first ones in arcade, right? In, our, when, in FR, when yeah. uh, Kuma first came out in arcade. Right. And like Kuma didn't have a good point for Death Fist. Yes. But like, Paul Play don't have to use Death Fist. <laughs> but here we go, Kakoma with the round count lead here in game one, Grand Finals. Make some time. I mean, at the same time, you mentioned the Paul versus Akuma. For a while, when Geese first came out, a lot of people were picking Paul against Geese as well for the really? same reason. No punish on Death Fist. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Sides the three, takes that final round for Kakoma. He gets himself on the board. Remember, Kakoma being in the loser's bracket means he has to win two three out of five sets against Anakin in order to be our champion. I think he wants it. He wants that W. Yes. Winning, winning Atlanta Battle Opera on Friday and winning DreamHack in the same weekend would be such a huge confidence booster for him mm -hmm. going into finals. And, but Anakin, you know, like winning DreamHack Atlanta, putting that nice little cap on such a strong season would be... Exactly. Yeah. Would be so sweet for him as well. Yeah, you know, he wants... I mean, he's a strong, strong contender to actually win the finals this year, despite his losses well, to me, right? And, I mean, he got smoked for Arson Ash, too. But I still feel like, you know, he's, he's due. He's due for the win against me, you know? So it, it could just happen at the finals. Maybe. But Anakin... With the interesting pick, I I don't know if he random this or he picked it on purpose. We're at power to stake mm -hmm. against Paul. Interesting selection. It was a standing Damn. there. And still got hit with the shredder kicks. Stare down the shredders. This is not enough to kill. Art? This can't be enough to kill. He's gonna jump a kick though. Ugh. Oh, what the, the hell? hell? First <laughs> one wins. Oh, I didn't get the full. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Jesus. He had two chances there. Kakoma had two big chances there to get that round, but no. And he walks away with it. I thought he was going to death fist after that whip jackhammer. With Same. a wall splat. And then he ended up hitting a button with one. Koma. Little punish on the down 4-2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. He, he just throws out the what, four bumps. A lot of people aren't expecting it ever. Yeah. Throws out the shredder kicks. Like, it's just so odd. It's so unusual for him. Yeah. Like I said, like I believe I said before, a little bit of like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, like Kakoma getting angry, throwing out some more stuff, mm -hmm. subverting expectations. 
We saw that in the first set as well. Yes, sir, delayed down back two. And it's really, it's like, it's that concession of respect. I know you're smart enough to get out of this, so I'm just gonna give the counter right away. And can a very nice down for two there. And this is exactly what happened in the first set, right? Kikoma wins the first game, kind of back and forth ish. And then all of a sudden, Adam's like, hold on a second, I remember how to beat you. It feels like every time he eats that forward two, he tries to mash out that forward one plus four, and he gets, gets it this time. But Kikoma and Rage, Blue Death Fist gets spent. He, he ran up for Devil Man, and he's like, get away from me. Yeah. Two one, I don't care what button you hit me. I'm playing out, with you. Yeah, beat out the Demo Man startup and gets that second game for himself. Now, this Kikoma rematch here, this is not a bad stage for Paul, but he's going to stage select. You know, at any point, they could have gone into that breakable wall. Kakoma could have thrown a Demo Man, broken that wall. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about it. Jungle Outpost 2? Do you think about switching characters? No. He considered it for a second, I think. No, I think he just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Boy, he's that jittery, huh? He looks nervous. He wants to win. Yeah, I feel like, you know, like even though I said that he had won a Masters event this year, I feel like a lot of Kakoma's uh, placings this year, you know, relatively strong, consistent placings, but I feel like, you know, like a lot of the times during the tour, he would just be really strong early on and then maybe just kind of run out of gas, like get like a like a seventh or a oh, fifth yeah. place at a Masters instead or at a Challenger event. One he might also down be one two. of those players that after a loss he gets kind of shut down a bit, but definitely not today. Oh God, <laughs> that was tight. He sliced up two, the forward forward two for Paul. Spends it. You saw he blocked the 4 4 2 1. Anakin does a mid. And that situation's a couple of crazier ball players might do an Iron, Iron Mountain, Mountain to try to challenge a jab. I so that's what it's coming. Yeah. It's like, let me just check this to make sure I don't die. Hey. Running two. Sidestep two. Sidestep Another two one. again. Back, Back two. two. All the twos. I wish I knew Jack move names. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's going to be like. Big uppercut, robot arm. I really wish that was actually the case. Breaks the one plus two throw. <laughs> oh, D -bug. D -bug. Not this time. Oh, maybe wow. this time. He was going to do it again. Crowd goes wild. Anakin running away with the set. Get off me. Forward two counter it. Start of the round. Not the first time he's hit Kikoma with that. Shredder kick, get out of here. Here's that optimal punish. Yo, Kikoma's falling apart. That's a three, though. Rage Anakin, mode. Anakin checking with these lows. Four in a row. Let's go back forward. Just do it. No way. Anakin one game away from winning the tournament. Oh, he's putting away the mix box. Yeah, he's I don't gonna play bet him. it all on Kazumi. I think it's a good choice. And you know, like the way Anakin played at the end of that round, he knew there was only there was maybe only two ways he loses that round, right? He gets counter hit by the sway four, like you brought up, right? Or he gets low parry, and he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay back here. I'm gonna let him do something punishable that yeah. I can punish with that wall sending four. Yeah, because he had, I think he ran up there, and I was thinking like, what's going with the death fist? He's not gonna death fist. He's gonna die from like the forward two or something. I'm punished. Yeah. So he's like, all right, well, I'll go for a low poke. And Anakin's like, nope, I know those are coming. I'm just gonna back dash and duck. Block low, smart stuff. To the king of Iron Fist Anakin 2 1 in this grand final set. Mm -hmm. Jack set. You saw Kakoma putting away the mix box. Is it Kazumi time though? It looks it's like. It. Yeah, he's highlighting it. Hasn't locked it in yet though. Deciding Kazumi on outfits. Mishima. Where are we going? Is this going to work out? He's betting his tournament life on it. Lomo the Serial. It's definitely a stage that Kakoma's picked a lot in the past, too. All right. Potentially the final game of the tournament. You see, you can, like, I feel like I can visibly see all that pressure on Kakoma's face. Like, I mean, he wants to win so bad. You know, he, yeah. he takes it so hard whenever he loses, even though he's finishing, like, top eight. Yeah, know? but on the other hand, you, like, you see that face on Anakin. He's so good at playing that stone face, the shadow of that Red Bull cap just hiding his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Trying I love to that that's become his trademark look. 
going into this round two. This is what this is what Saint used to beat. I mean, this is what Kakoma used to beat Saint. He brought out the Kazumi at the point. end, and he ran through him. That it's not looking that way currently with Anakin. Yeah, but you know, even though they use the same character, I feel like Saint and Anakin are very different players. Oh, it's a beautiful whiff punch on the down back one. Can he do enough damage here if he reaches the wall? He reaches the, I think he's going to reach the wall, yes, but the combo still not going to do enough, is it? Oh my Barely god! Barely enough! If he loses now, no! Wow! Not the punish! A bet! I can't believe he bet the Twin Pistons there! Anakin clutching it out, or Kokoma dropping it, not sure. Either way you want to look at it, Anakin gets first round. Hell, you out of here! Yeah, low parried it. The crowd is starting to rally behind Anakin now. They're sensing the victory of the whole tournament. He's pressuring, knocking on the guard of Kakoma. Sometimes I wonder, like, I feel like Tekken has like an invisible guard bar. It's like, this mental energy when you uh -huh. do stuff like that. Power oh, crush! The first time we've seen it all day. Doesn't get a pick him up off the wall though. Rage mode now for Kakoma. Slow him combo. out of the fly. Tournament point for Anakin. Nothing Kakoma is doing seems to be working this time. Dash for the flash punch combo. Anakin checking with the down back one. Or two, no punish. And he is chopping his ankles. Kakoma only has half life left. Even less now. All these incorrect responses to these blocked moves. Finally gets something going here with the down board one, two. Say one, two as well. Running tackle. Blocks the punches though. Magic for Kakoma might not be done yet, but this combo is not gonna kill. Even if he reaches the wall, I don't think. Yeah, it's not even gonna reach the wall. Corners himself though. Uh oh. Oh, oh the breaks the wall. Balcony. That is gonna be <laughs> the tournament. Anakin wins Dream Mac Atlanta. What an end there! The perfect time to use that rage drive, getting the balcony break, dropping the A. Uh huh. ATL Anakin. Representing oh. Radiance, Red Bull, and Atlanta. Wins DreamHack Atlanta here. The last match event of the Tekken World Tour for 2019. Congratulations. Top three in the entire TWT standings is Anakin. And with this win, I don't know where that bumps. It might be top two now. Regardless, that's pretty darn high. Pretty see, darn high. And you see that sheepish grin on Kakoma's face. He's like, I got messed up. I mean, but I mean, he won the first game. Yeah. He was looking good. But here you see, this is the bracket. This is how things unfolded for our top eight here today. And Anakin, man, going undefeated and set throughout this entire tournament. You saw him 3-0 Spirogen.